What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to September's PC Build of the Month. And I remember promising you guys a Threadripper build. So not only am I going to be going over one in this video, but I'm going to be building that exact same one on the channel for October. So with that said, let's begin the video. Before you pay full price on your next purchase, consider checking out dealsource.tech for the best tech deals online. Because not only do we have a team of people uploading deals daily, but we cross check them with multiple websites to make sure you're getting the best price out there. Right now we cover all of US, UK, Canada, and even Germany. So check out dealsource.tech, link below. So we're gonna focus on some AMD builds for this episode. In fact, I'm gonna be building one of them on the channel, which is the very first one, and I'm calling it Jack the Ripper. It's a super high-end Threadripper build featuring the 1950X 16-core processor. Right now, there aren't that many coolers compatible with the TR4 socket, so I'm gonna be using my trusty old H100i V2 with a supplied bracket that came with the 1950X. The motherboard I'm going with is the MSI X399 Gaming Pro Carbon that I unboxed in the last episode, which is gonna work well with the black and orange theme I'm going with, and I'll be able to overclock the 1950X easily. I wanted to go with orange RAM sticks to stick with the color scheme, and the only way I was going to achieve this was through RGB, and G-Skill is actually one of the best ones out there. And I've used their RAM a lot in my previous builds, and I'm a huge fan, so I'm gonna throw in 32 gigs in there. For storage, I'm going to use a single M.2, but I'm also going to throw in two 1 GB SSDs to use in RAID 0. Now, if this was going to be my actual build, I would throw in a 10 TB hard drive for mass storage, but the actual build won't have a hard drive, since I'm not going to keep this PC for myself. I wanted to go with two Vega 64s in this PC to make a complete AMD build, but unfortunately, I only have one. And well, you guys know that one is never enough for me. So I decided to go overkill status and throw in two EVGA 1080 Ti's Texor style. Powering the build is a 1000 watt power supply from EVGA. And also a quick note for people doing Threadripper builds, you guys have to make sure the power supply comes with a second eight pin for the CPU socket, since the TR4 socket requires a total of 16 EPS connectors. That's only if you're gonna be overclocking though. If not, then a single eight pin connector for the CPU is fine. The case I'm going with is Cougar's new Conquer Tower, which not only looks badass, but it's also going to fit the color scheme of the build beautifully. The cost of this entire PC will come out to a little over $5,800, including the cable sleeving and the back plates that I will be picking up from V1 Tech. I will be getting the Ryzen logo on the back plates, and I'm also going to be picking up two SSD covers as well. All right, this next build is more budget friendly and it's gonna cost you around $650. It features the Ryzen 3 1200 quad core CPU and the newly released Vega 56, if you're lucky enough to snag one while it's in stock. The ASRock AB350M actually got a price cut from 80 to 60 bucks, making it an even easier choice to use in the build. It is a budget gaming PC, so I'm starting it off with only eight gigs of RAM, but the motherboard does have two extra DIMM slots for future expandability. I'm also gonna start the build with a single one terabyte hard drive from Seagate, since it's currently cheaper than the WD that I keep using. Okay, so here's why I went with the Vega 56 card. So this PC is actually built mainly for quad HD gaming. If you guys are gonna be gaming in 1080p, you will experience bottlenecks in some games. I did make a video to prove this, so check it out if you guys are interested, but it looks like the GTX 1060 and the RX 580 is the sweet spot combined with the 1200 CPU. But once you increase the resolution to 2K, then the GPU starts getting utilized more, which means you won't experience any bottlenecking. I hope that makes some sense to you guys. That is why this build is mainly for 2K and not 1080p. To keep the cost down, we're going with the V06 from Vivo, which is a micro ATX case, and honestly, it doesn't look too bad. For 35 bucks, you get a clear side panel, two 120 millimeter fans in the front with blue LEDs, and also a front USB 3.0. That's actually not a bad deal. And finally, powering this entire build is a 600 watt power supply from EVGA, which has a crazy deal right now from Best Buy. It's only going for $35 as opposed to $55, and that brings the total to a little under $650. Bucks. 2K gaming for less than $700, that is not a bad deal. But anyways, that wraps up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're excited for the Threadripper build, make sure to toss a like to show your support. If you guys didn't like the video, feel free to dislike as well, as long as you leave some feedback. But uh, anyways, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.